Have you ever wondered why sprinters tend to have the best physique out on the track? Well, the title of this video is probably giving you a hint to why they do, but we're going to get a little bit more in-depth and discuss it and how it can play a role in your fitness goals in this video. If you're just now finding my channel for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you are down every time I drop a life gains video. Because what are we doing in this channel? Improving the quality of your life. That's what we call life gains through fitness, finance and technology. Let's see how you can naturally boost your growth hormone. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything, the sexy as hell host. Bringing you guys life gain fitness. So you trying to build some muscle, burn up some fat. Gotta have growth hormone. And did you know there are natural ways to boost your growth hormone without going out there finding a drug dealer to give you a syringe to shoot up your butt to give you the growth hormone. And we're gonna talk about that, but first, me put on my plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. I'm working on skilling up this crowd, giving you guys a better review and a better something to look at. And if you guys need a pair of good glasses, check my video description link for firmo.com so that you can get yourself a pair. They'll take care of you and they're not that expensive. They do prescription and non-prescription. And so growth hormone is a hormone that helps the body overall. Now let's look at the, the book definition of it. And so comes the question of what can you do naturally to boost it? Now, a lot of you are not going to want to hear this, but one of the number one ways to boost your growth hormone is sprinting. People don't want a lot of people don't know that, but it's been tested and tested again. Getting out there with your own body weight outdoors and sprinting increases growth hormone about 77% especially if you're someone who just got off the couch. Now, if you're doing it on a regular basis and you're pretty lean, it's not gonna probably give you the same boost, but we're talking the average American here. And just getting out there can give you all those recovery nutrients, all those recovery hormones, all the good things that come from growth hormone to help you lose that body fat, build that muscle, feel better, and continue looking younger. A good way to do this would be pick some days where you're gonna go outside and you're gonna do nine sprints ranging from about 20 seconds to 30 seconds. Now what's real important is you wanna get a good rest in between. So after you do one sprint, wait about a minute and a half to two minutes so that you're fully recovered so that you can get back out there and break it back on down. That is a good split for sprinting to really, really boost your growth hormone and help you see the results that you want. And I'm trying to help everybody in 2018 reach their fitness goals. And sprinting needs to be in your plan if it isn't. And if you want more help, join my Patreon. I'm over there helping people get meal plans, helping people with their workout regimen. Join that Patreon account and send me a message so I can give you a little bit more one-on-one -on -one help because I don't have as many subscribers over at Patreon as I do here on YouTube but I wanna see you reach your fitness goals. And this is a way you can reach out to me and get some more details on things that I've learned that have helped me go from 300 down to 195. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself that life gain. Let's make 2018 a year you reach your fitness goals and I wanna help you do that. So let me know what you've done in the past to try to boost your growth hormone. Let me know if you even knew there was such thing as growth hormone. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.